Hey, it's Ramcode here, and today I want to showcase something I added to another program I already created, which is that we have this movable square, but now we can't move outside the boundaries of our screen. So I made another video actually quite a while ago, which I will link in the description and up here somewhere, where I showcase how we can move this, in this case, rectangle around the screen using WASD. So now I simply added a check that checks after we have moved our rectangle. If we are at some of the borders of our screen, keep it there so we can't move beyond the borders. And just quickly what we are doing, we have some press WASD pressed properties. And we then simply have an animation timer that goes through each of them and checks if they are pressed, then move in that X direction. And again, if you want to know more about this basic movement, Check out my other video. But what we're then doing inside this animation timer, where we're now running every frame, so the loop of the game, is that we're simply doing a check square at border, which then simply checks if the square is at border left, right, top, or bottom, keep it there. And we then simply calculate the position of the borders. So left border is going to be zero because that's based on our coordinate system. Right border is going to be the width of the screen, subtracted by the size of our shape. Bottom again, seen height minus shape, top bound also zero, because the position of our square is the top left corner, and the top left corner is going to be touching the top of the screen when this is at zero, or left at zero, and right is not going to be when this position is at right, it's going to be when this position is at right minus the size of the square. And again, the same for the bottom part of the screen. So as you can see, it's, it's actually quite simple, but it's just important to get this main concept of we are moving a square. And we're then simply checking if we are at a border, keep it here. So we are not able to move beyond the borders. So that was my quick showcase of how we can constrain our movement of a square in this case. And I will also leave a link in the description if you want to have a look at all the source code. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this quick showcase, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.